Hey, you're watching with Wendy. Today I'm going to show you how I mended a pair of jeans. I should get the jeans. Hey, you're watching with Wendy. Today I'm going to show you how I mended a pair of jeans. There are these jeans and the issue with them is that there's like rips and it's worn down on the inner thigh. Maybe not all people can relate to this struggle, but if you can, this video is for you. This may not be the method that works for everyone, but it worked really well for me, so hopefully it helps you to save your jeans. All right, we'll start by taking a look at the damage. So what I have here is a couple of points where it's worn down on the inner leg. You can see where on the seam, there's some very noticeable black holes and also this super noticeable large hole that's been worn down. These holes really only can get worse from here. So it's important to spot it very early on and maintain those jeans to help them last a long time. Let's get to repairing. You're gonna need a couple shades of thread and I would look for anything you have in the navy range. Try to match it as close as possible to the tones that are in your jeans. You'll obviously also need a needle and even better if you have a spare piece of fabric. I took that spare piece of fabric and cut it into a pill shape just to help it fit over the hole that I have in the jeans. Ideally, you'll also want some way to attach that fabric to the jeans and this fabric is really just gonna act as a support to help hold and protect and shield the hole from the stretching and pulling of the neighboring threads. I cut down a piece of fusible interfacing that was the same size as that blue piece of spare fabric and then I ironed it to the inside of the jeans so that it's there to provide some support. Go ahead and prepare a needle and thread tying a knot at the end and then we're gonna go through the jeans coming from the inside going to the outside and then making a very gentle zigzag across the entire hole. Your goal is to pick up as little fabric as necessary so that the needle stitches are not very obvious but enough fabric so that you're actually pulling the two edges slowly closer together. After taking the zigzag all the way down the entire hole I went back up both sides all the way around just to add a little bit of extra security. Once you're done, pull the needle out from the inside of the jeans, tie a knot to secure the ends, and snip off the excess. I also went ahead and snipped off some excess fabric because there's no need to have a ton of that lying around, it's just there to provide some support where the stitches are. And here is the hole after it's been mended, it's nowhere near as visible as before and it's now completely safe from ripping any bigger. I also wanted to address these black holes that were appearing on the seam, so I grabbed another thread that was the same color as the general shade of my jeans, and starting from the inside, I wove it through the remaining threads that were on those holes. Essentially, you're covering up these holes by using a shade of thread that matches the jean, kind of blending it in and making the contrast nowhere near as noticeable as it was before. So just go back and forth, weaving it across the hole, using that thread to cover up any of the dark spots and you can see how as you cover it up and tighten the threads these black holes become way less visible here's the before and after for you it's not perfect but it does a great job making sure that there's no more further damage and now i can wear these jeans with ease not being terrified that they're just gonna rip apart one day that's how i mended my jeans if you like this tutorial let me know by hitting the like button and if you haven't subscribed yet click the button below i put up new tutorials every week and there's already a couple of tutorials about jeans and mending things one of my tutorials covers how to make bootcut jeans into skinny jeans. I have another one that explains how to shorten the jeans but also preserving the original hem so it still has the original frayed look. And I have another video that shows how to mend those small troublesome little holes in shirts and sweaters. All of those are linked below for you if you'd like to go see them. And if you want to find me on Instagram I am under at with Wendy. Hope you like the video, hope you subscribe, and if you want to see more of these sewing repair type videos let me know.